Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about time zones. And before I start doing the maths, I just want to show you a little animation. So as you guys know, right now I live in Brisbane, which is around about here in Australia, around about here. And you can see that right now it's 3.19 a.m., which is why there is no sunlight. However, if I increase the time at about 6 a.m., 7 a.m., you can see sunlight starts to go across Brisbane. And you can see sunlight keeps going. And at about 10 a.m., the sunlight is well and truly above Australia. And then if I keep going until about 5 or 6 p.m., it gets dark. Now, watch how the sunlight is moving across. Now, the sun, because the earth is rotating on this axis, right, the earth is essentially rotating like this, so the sunlight is moving across vertically. So, the point that I'm trying to illustrate is that um, there is not a lot of time difference between Australia and Japan. So that's Japan here, that's Australia here. Even though one is on the northern hemisphere, one is on the southern hemisphere, they are practically on the same time zone. So at about 6 p.m. here, it's probably going to be around about 6 p.m. in Japan as well. And then China might be slightly earlier at about 4 p.m. So China, even though it's really far from Australia, it's only two hours behind us. So using this theory, I'm going to now show you the time zone map. So this is a map of the world and um, you probably can't see the time zones very clearly, but I'll just draw them out for you. So you can see that if you zoom in a bit on this map, at the bottom of the map, you will see the time zones. And basically over here, the time zone of zero for Greenwich Mean Time uh, is where London is. So let's say it's um, London is on Sunday at 12 a.m. Then what happens is uh, sorry, Sunday at 12 p.m., then what happens is in this time zone, just one column to the right, it'll be 1 p.m., two columns to the right, it'll be 2 p.m., three columns to the right will be 3 p.m., and so on. So if I keep going to Australia, in Sydney, this number here is 10, so it'll be 10 p.m. So the time difference between um, Sydney and London is 10 hours. So it depends on what line of longitude that the location is at to determine the time difference between cities. So let's give you guys a more concrete example. So the first question, find the time difference between Seoul and Moscow. So, how do we do this? Well, let's look up the time zone on our little map. So, if we try and find Seoul, um, it is over here next to Japan, and you can see that it is on the time zone, if we scroll right down, of GMT plus 9. Now, 9 hours... 9 hours... Um, ahead of uh, Greenwich, which is London. So we are going to write down that time zone. So nine, you can see here that this column goes all the way up to where Seoul is. So let's write that down. Seoul has a time zone of GMT plus nine. And then let's look up Moscow. Where is Moscow on our map? And if we go to Moscow, which is um, over here, Moscow, and you can see it's on the time zone GMT plus three. You can see this number three here. So you got zero here, one, two, three. So it's GMT plus three. So let's write that down. 
GMT plus 3. Now you might also see something like UTC plus 9, UTC plus 3. They just mean the same thing. Greenwich Mean Time and UTC which stands for, um, what does it say? Uh, coordinated Universal Time, the same thing. So what is the time difference? Well, you have plus 9, which is 9 hours ahead of London, and then you have plus 3, which is 3 hours ahead of London. So what is the time difference? You simply go 9 minus 3, and the answer is 6 hours. So the time difference between Seoul and Moscow is 6 hours. Okay, next question. Find the time difference between Perth and Lima. So again, using our map, I'm going to look up where Perth is. So um, if I go to find Perth, and it is over here under GMT plus 8. So let's write that down. 8 hours ahead of London. And let's find Lima. So where is Lima? Lima is all the way to the west in Peru. And it is five hours behind London. As you can see, London is over here. Okay, London is over here and it has a GMT plus zero. And then over here, Lima is in this time zone, which is GMT minus five right five hours behind london so you're going to write down gmt minus five and if you are not sure you can always just google it so previously i googled moscow time zone and now i'm going to google lima time zone and it's got utc minus five which is the same as gmt minus five so when one is plus and the other location is minus, then what you do to find the time difference is you will actually add the numbers 8 and 5. You would go 8 plus 5, which is 13 hours. So that's what you would do when one location is plus GMT plus and the other location is GMT minus. You will add the difference between each of these cities and London. Okay, so next we want to talk a bit more in depth about the relationship between longitude and time zone. And you can see here on our world map, if I zoom out a bit, okay, so across our world map, you can see that um, at Where London is, we have basically got GMT plus zero, and it has also got a latitude of zero degrees. Latitude of, sorry, longitude of zero degrees, and it's got time zone of zero. And if you go all the way to the left, it goes up to longitude of. 135, 150, 160, 180, 180 degrees west. And then all the way to the right, it goes to 180 degrees east. Um, by the way, if you guys want a copy of this map, I will um, I will link it on my video description, but there's a link to the world map, but you can probably just Google time zone map. But anyway, so we have 180 degrees east, 180 degrees east, right? 180 degrees east all the way to 180 degrees to zero degrees and then to 180 degrees west. So in total, there are 360 degrees of longitude now how many minutes are there in one day well let's just do hours right now there are 24 hours 
in one day. So if you divide 360 by 24, 360 divided by 24, you are going to get 15 degrees per hour. 15 degrees of longitude per hour. And you can see that if you look on this map again, that's pretty much how it's being divided up. Okay, so there is the time zone at the top and you can see where Greenwich is which is over here it's got zero degrees and then every 15 degrees of longitude so 0 15 30 45 we add one to the time zone so Greenwich mean time GMT plus one GMT plus two GMT plus three you can see if I zoom in a bit more you should be able to see that oops Right, we got 0, 15, 30, 45, 60, and so on. So that means that if I give you two locations with their longitude, you can basically work out their time difference. So let's give you guys two cities. So I have here, calculate the time difference between Sydney, which is 150 degrees east, and Tehran, 50 degrees east. So let's get the difference in longitude, longitude, difference, and you go 150 minus 50, which is 100 degrees, and it's 15 degrees per hour, so you're just going to go 100 divided by 15, and the answer is 6.66 hours. Okay, and um, as I said before, this is only approximate, so let's look them up and see if they're right. So let's look up Sydney time zone. Sydney time zone. and it's utc plus 10 so let's write that down sydney is utc plus 10 and tehran is um, utc plus 330 Okay, so three hours and a half. So what is the time difference? Well, you got 10 hours minus 3.30, which is pr pretty much the same as 3.5. And it's 6.5 hours, which is very close to what we calculated. So this is only an approximate way of calculating the uh, time difference using the difference in longitude okay thanks for watching guys see you next time